With a sick ass mouth and a slick ass flow. Uh, got your bitch around me, nigga, and I'm playing when I'm coming for the kitty. Got my full goddamn. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right now. Niggas got killed for the boy, living dreams in the hills, and they watch for the boy right now. From when I started growing my hair, I always wore my hair in plaits. By the age of six years old, my mom gave me my first relaxer. Over time, all she used to do was flat iron it. He more heat, flat iron it again, more heat. Soon I began to start transitioning my hair because a lot of it broke off. I wore twists, braids, and then finally I took out my braids and this is what my hair looked like. Wow, disgusting. So I decided to put my hair in twists, box braids, let it grow for a year, and this is what I had and I was completely natural. My hair was very short. It was not even shoulder length yet. And that was my fro. It was still a lot of damage. By the time of seventh grade and eighth grade, I decided to flatter my hair a lot because I liked the length. By the time I was in eighth grade, I got my first sewing and I straightened my hair literally every single day I had the sewing in for. Then I had got another sewing, which was a little longer, and then another one, which was even longer. After that, I decided to get my hair in twists. So the whole time my hair was in twists, I just kept it protected, oiled my scalp, and did everything. And then eventually I got braids. Then I got more braids. And then my hair started to finally get healthy. So the beginning of ninth grade year, I had got my twist again. And then I took my hair out, and that's what it looks like when it was in my fro. I still had a lot of heat damage, so... Over time, I just chopped it off, and then eventually, I just started wearing my hair in buns with a fake ponytail, and then more buns to keep my ends protected while they were still chopped off. It was short, and this was my little fro after a while. My hair still had damage on it, and over time, it gradually became more healthier. This was um 10th grade year, and this is during my track recital. My hair, uh, this is a twist out. No, it was actually a braid out. And then I decided to wear my hair in buns again. Buns and buns and buns. And then my hair finally reached shoulder length. I deep conditioned with Shea Moisture's products. And here is a video of my hair after I had just deep conditioned it. I wore my hair in twist outs eventually. And that's how it looks. Then I decided to give myself a length check and blow dry my hair. My hair was flourishing. It was really long and healthy after I had cut it off and did all that. And this is a photo of it when it was curly. My curls gradually became more healthier over time and I had more shrinkage. So then, 11th grade year, I decided to get my hair in twist again. And I wore my hair in twist for around two or three months. Two months. Or a month and a half. And the outcome was actually really good. This is my hair now that I took it out the twist. And this is basically it. And this is now when I'm in 11th grade. And I have so much length. I still have some damaged hair, but most of the time it's pretty good. If I see a few damaged ends, I'll eventually cut it off. Thanks for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.